hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to do the validation for the email and phone number and the other text boxes so let's get started with it so here I have my registration form and these are the text box so I'll just double click on this so you can see it shows F name text changed okay so F name is my text box name and instead of this text changed you have to just make a change over here say key and capital P press okay just copy this key press and paste it over here and here okay so I just missed the P okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to create a variable here say dim allowed characters as string equal to we are going to write all the characters that we are going to allow so it's going to be a to z okay so I have given a to z all the characters here so you don't need to give it in uh, capital so we'll just convert all the things to the small letter and we'll check okay so here we're going to say if condition if not in allowed characters dot contains the key which is pressed okay so you can see here e s key press event so we are going to say here e dot key care dot to string dot to lower so if it's in capital or small it doesn't matter here we are just going to lower it and check okay then message box dot show and inside this we are going to say please enter a character okay so and here you just have to give two lines of code dot care equals to chr oops capital you just give chr w and within this bracket you just have to give zero and here e dot handled equals to true okay so this will be done for the name okay so now we'll check what's the next so it is the last name here so let's check the name of this it is l name you can just double tap here so you will get it here let us copy and paste the same thing and change this f name to l name and here also l name so we are going to allow a to z in this two input box okay text box so now we are going to do it for the phone number so you can check or I'll just double click here you can see phone dot text change it says so we are going to make it key press event and here okay so here we are going to give only numbers right so let us create variable dim allowed numbers as string equals I'll start one two three till nine and then add zero also so we have given this so next we are going to just use the same thing so instead of typing I'll just copy and paste and here allowed cares just change the number I mean the name allowed numbers contains the character you can remove this tool over as number is not in capital or small letters so you can say please enter a number okay so this is also done let us test this much first so let me save all and start say register and here in the names I'm going to type ohm and I'm going to type 5 here so it says please enter a character so similarly even for this if I type some number it's saying this way and if I type our text over here 
let me type a over here it says please enter a number i'm going to say one two three four five six seven eight nine zero let me give hyphen here it says please enter a number okay so whatever we have given that much is working here so now let's do for the email cancel and i'll exit the application okay so now let us go to the email thing and here for the phone number we need only 10 maximum characters so you'll have that in the properties so here you can see max length we are just going to set it to 10 okay so it's going to accept only 10 characters that is the 10 numbers so now let's go to the email and just copy and paste this email and here once we need to change email so email can contain alphanumeric combination so that can be letters and numbers too so let us allow both the things so here okay so all these characters will be allowed all these numbers and we are going to allow the ample the at symbol and the full stop also are there the dot one so let us create a variable for that also dim allowed symbols as string equals within double quotes give and and dot okay so save it now you are going to check here this thing whatever allowed numbers and copy and paste it here with the and operator here in between paste that and so here we have checked with the numbers here we are going to check with the characters cars okay and next we are going to do with the symbol so let's paste it over here and then allowed symbols copy and paste it over here so it has to contain the alphabet or you can say or here like if you give and it all three must be true okay so we can allow anything so we'll give or so whatever is given it should either be in this or this or this okay or else uh, let's say please enter a valid email okay so what's next let us check email and gender is a drop down box so you don't need to do anything for that password it can be anything so we are not going to do any validation for that it can be numbers or alphabets or anything symbols so let us say start and say login here i'm going to register myself om and say prakash phone number you can check i'm entering a key i mean another alphabet it says please enter a number okay and email it says please enter a valid email if i press a key that's a mistake let's go and check over there okay allowed characters okay so i think this is the mistake i have given or i have to give and okay because or is if anything satisfies it goes inside right so if the alphabet is not in this it's just saying please enter a valid email so that's why i'm not able to type the email so let us say and okay so now this should work good so let us save and start the project let's say register and first we'll type the email okay gmail.com so let me type putting a number it's accepting okay so backspace it's not taking backspace we have to give that okay so i just forgot for all these things so if you have made a mistake and you give backspace it's going to say please enter a character so we have an solution for that so we just need to add the on if condition below i mean before this let's say if not the asc that is the ascii value of the e dot 
key char is equal to 8 so the ascii value for space is, i mean backspace is 8 so if it is 8 you have to allow it so if it is backspace then it's going to allow okay and just copy and paste the end if save so similarly we have to give for everything or else it's not going to allow backspace okay so same with phone number copy and for the email also we're just going to do the same thing copy and paste okay so now let us save and run i'm going to register now um so i just press add symbol prakash phone number okay so you can see it's taking just 10 characters and not more than that email and so i'll just try entering another symbol that means give star so okay shift okay it says please enter valid email so it's just going to take numbers and only these two symbols and gender and say mail password and now when i click register it says user registered successfully okay so for the login we have to do the same validation so it has to be a proper email and password can be anything so let's show you so we'll go to the login form and just take it from here the email thing and paste it okay so this is the same name email and email so it's going to allow these things so we have one more thing over here so i'll just show you start and say register give some dummy details over here and in the email if i don't give at gmail.com it has to not accept like anything any domain it can be at yahoo.com or something but at and dot symbol is mandatory right so if you see here if you click register it is registering successfully it shouldn't register so we are going to do that now so we're just going to add some code in the register function here before the try we are going to say if condition you're going to add this is nothing but your register button i'll just show you you when you click register it will come to this function okay so here we are going to say if condition if email dot text dot contains function and here we are going to check if it contains one ampersand this add symbol and the same thing just copy and paste it copy and paste it over here okay contains at and dot so both it has to contain and here we are going to say if else and if okay so here if this contains an add symbol and a dot symbol then it has to register else show a message box saying please enter a valid email address okay so now we'll just test it start and register name and so let me try giving this and it's going to say please enter a valid email address so i just add add symbol add gmail enter a valid so when i add dot then it is going to be a valid so let me add com also here so user registered successfully so thank you for watching this video guys in this video we have seen how to do the validation for email phone number and other text boxes so thank you for watching this video please like the video and subscribe to the channel Thank you once again.